I was told a week ago about this program called Processing um, from Processing.org, and I thought I could use it to produce a, a custom corset pattern where I just had to enter in the measurements of the person, and then it will automatically generate a pattern for me. And this would be so helpful because corsets has to be custom made in order to fit properly. Up here in the beginning, I can enter in, in uh, millimeters, the measurements for, for a person. So here, for example, I have entered in the bust measurements, ribs, waist, a high hip and a low hip. And when uh, lay, later down here, I'm using these values to calculate some, uh, some points. And then in the end, I am drawing some lines uh, and putting in a little bit of text. So this is what the program does. It's not really fancy, but it does something that I need. So here, now I'm uh, pressing enter and uh, getting it to uh, generate a pattern. And uh, it's a little bit too big uh, for the screen because I made it so it will uh, print one to one. Um, so it's generating a new uh, PDF file, as you can see here. And uh, this is the pattern. Um, I have some, uh, well, my measurements put out. I have seam allowances. I have uh, the written uh, measurements uh, people enter. And, of course, a link to uh, my web page. And then you use the laser cutter to, uh, to cut it later on? Is that uh, this, that's actually uh, the nice part, because I'm also very lazy when it comes to cutting. Yeah. So I prefer to use uh, the laser cutter we have here at FabLab Hulk. And uh, I made the pattern so that I have seam allowances too and marks in my seam allowances. So I can actually just import this to the laser cutter and ask it just to print or cut the blue lines and it will cut exactly what I need with exactly the seam allowances I need. For example, we have a blue line here, mm -hmm. um, the black line here, that's the real pattern without seam allowances. Mm -hmm. And then you have the blue line marking out. So I have uh, one centimeter of seam allowance. When doing corsetry, we usually do a mock-up in, uh, in fabric. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is, of course, used to make that mock-up. And, and then on the mock-up, you, you tweak it so it's completely perfect. But this is the first step, usually. Um, and, and this is what you need. Um, I actually based this generator on a technique from a page called Foundations Revealed. And they have a free guide to how to make this by hand. But this is just a di digital, digital version of that.